Are you ready for crazy hair? The big truck driver! Well, hello there. Yes, things are different. Things are very different. Very different. Very different. Very different. Very different. Enough of that. Enough of that. So, anyways, um, yeah. I'm gonna... Today is... The first day that I'm on the road driving the big truck. You know what I'm talking about? No, you don't know what I'm talking about because I didn't know how to drive one of these things. Now I do. Well, actually, I'm still learning. You know, that student driver. I got my permit. Yep, they actually let the crazy hair buy in one of these things. Isn't that something? <laughs> that, that is. That is something I know. So, been in school all week, put the nose to the paper, nose in the book, and got it done. Took the test, passed the test, drove the simulator, drive big truck driver now got that done now I gotta be out on the road for a few weeks with my truck instructor uh, good times good times so you know you never know where I'm gonna be right now we're in Arkansas yeah, a little ways from Texas. I was up in Missouri for school. Oh yeah, more to come. Let's do this. thing I want to talk about is this pre-trip inspection you got to learn step by step on where things are oh where's my alternator is it properly mounted and secured is it bent broken no I don't think so Uh, the wire is going to it. Are they afraid? No, maybe not. And this belt. The belt? Yeah, that belt. You got to talk about the belt too. The belt is not worn or frayed. It does not move a half an inch to three quarters of an inch when I push on it. It doesn't. So 
So, <laughs> I know for some of y'all, I'm bringing back the pre-trip memories. But for me, I've got to learn that damn thing. Ah. Uh. Enough of that. Back to it. So, I'm happy to be going through Prime's PSD program. Prime Student Driver. After I go through this program, pass everything, I got about 75 hours worth of driving. I drove three hours, three and a half hours yesterday. Uh, so I still have like over 70 hours left to drive. Because, you know, today is the first day. But anyways, um, going through the PSD program, it's unexpected. Very unexpected. But I will get in that in the PSD program series. There's a lot I want to talk about about that. Until then, I will keep my mouth shut. Throw it away. Anyways, I am lucky to be here. My uh, instructor on the truck is Julie Barnett, like I said, and she's a 30 year veteran. veteran. I'm lucky she's, she's training me. I'm, I'm very lucky that she's one of my friends and decided to take me on her truck. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be doing this. I have to honestly say. It's exciting. A new adventure. See, the, the crazy hair can be serious every once in a while. Every once in a while. It doesn't happen too often. I gotta take things seriously because this machine can hurt you or can hurt somebody. Plus Prime is, you know, they're entrusting you with the load of the freight. I'm in reefer division. I haul cold stuff. Well, after I pass, the PSD phase. I go back in to Springfield, Missouri and I'll practice a little bit more on the backing and everything on the pad and uh, then get tested for my CDL. After I pass my CDL, I will come back out on the road for the TNT phase, trainer and trainee phase of the program. The third phase, once you pass the third phase and you come back to Springfield and you're done. You can climb in a company truck, climb in your lease truck, and hit the road on your own if you want to. Driving solo. You know, Prime, they're, they're pet friendly. So you can bring your cat, your dog, your fish, your flying squirrel, uh, whatever animal you have, your, your iguana. There's a guy that's got an iguana on his truck. You know, so... You can bring whatever pet you want. You can bring, you know, you can get one of them monkeys. Add a monkey on your truck. <laughs> so yeah. That is all I have to say for right now. Oh.
shower you know you're not in there doing your thing and then Bubba be over in the corner being boy I like what you got no it's not that kind of shower <laughs> no let me tell you you get your own shower your own toilet your own sink your own mirror you get your own room can wash yourself as much as you want. Yes, you can. So, there are some pretty nice folks over here at the Flying J in uh, Russellville, Arkansas. Off the uh, I-40. That would be mile marker 84. Um... Just step into the Flying J. Pretty nice folks. Some good coffee. I have to get good coffee. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know. You like the coffee, I like the coffee. We all like the coffee. So, if you're around, make sure you stop into the Flying J. I was really impressed. It is a nice place. A very, very nice place. So, on to the next. We're just riding down the road. Oh, man. This morning she was trying to beat me into shape. Shifting those gears. You know what I'm talking about? And the downshifting? I, I like going fast. How about you? Just don't let the DOT catch you. No, you know, we're driving a prime truck. <laughs> the big 63 is as fast as we can go. <laughs> We got our wings open on the trailer, so we're just flying. No, but I did uh, some more shifting, some more down shifting. I'm getting pretty good at it, I think. And I actually did some straight line backing. So. Yeah, that's about it. We've, uh, we've did those early morning deliveries. Those are kind of rough, aren't they? But getting it done. I live up there in the uh, tree house, up there, on that top bunk. It took me a minute to get used to this, the reefer, kicking on and off all night long. But now I think it's starting to sing a lullaby. Rock away, baby, in the big truck. Going to sleep now. Your time is almost up. You have to wake up, get back in the dock, get unloaded, and do it again. 